So Lumix has been known for having some really, really great video features and settings, but one of my favorite ones is the open gate capabilities that they've been recently launching out more and more. Now this has been become very publicly known and been a huge thing on YouTube since the GH6 and now the S5 II and 2X. Now, there's so many great things about OpenGate, but there is still one flaw, which I'll dive into later in this video. But let's start off by talking about some of the three great reasons why you should be shooting in OpenGate. So the first thing is it's kind of giving you one of the highest quality images possible for social media. Now, you can shoot Apple Pro Res and you can record externally and get absolutely amazing quality up to 12 bit images and get extremely high quality images but specifically for social media being able to have that full 6k footage zooming in a ton now i have done some comparisons tests between open gate 6k 24 frames a second 420 10 bit and then 4k 24 frames a second 16 by 9 422 10-bit and that 420 versus 422 is not a huge noticeable difference especially on a computer or on a phone and the compression that YouTube and social media provide. You're not going to be able to tell that much of a bit depth difference between those two. So to get one of the highest quality images possible specifically for social media, shooting an open gate is going to be allowing you to do that. Now the second reason is a little obvious, cropping. Now this format allows you to crop vertically and horizontally for different social media formats. Now, for example, if you're shooting in 16 by nine and wanting to crop into that nine by 16, you're gonna be really punched in on the face versus shooting in a three by two or four by three format with the GH6 or S5 2X, you're way able to have way more room vertically on the video and just allowing the extra space. Now, this is something that Sony and Canon aren't really currently doing on their mirrorless cameras, but for whatever reason, on full frame cameras, it's a three by two sensor, and whenever they go to video, it goes to 16 by nine, and it's just those extra pixels on the bottom and top are just dead pixels, basically, and not being utilized to its fullest potential. Now, my third reason, and benefit for open gate is going to be framing now what i mean by this is you're able to frame your image in different ways and formats so for example if you're shooting vertically you can shift your image left and right or if you're shooting horizontally and you want to just slightly shift your image up or slightly shift your image down you can do that as well now a quick bonus tip is if you're filming for different formats you can use frame markers like the 9x16 or 16x9 frame markers. Something that I wish they would add is more custom frame markers where you can make a 9x16 and a 16x9 overlay be at the same time. Now one little workaround I do with this camera is I turn on the 16x9 frame marker on the camera and then I turn on a 9x16 frame marker on the monitor and this allows me to see both vertically and horizontally what the image will look like for different cuts. Now one little quick con is on the S5 II and 2X, it does have a 30 minute record limit shooting in 30 frames a second. Now honestly, this isn't a huge con for myself, it's just, it's there. It's not a big deal unless you're planning to film long periods of interviews, but at that time you can just shoot in 4K 24 frames a second. You're not gonna get the open gate, but there's a low con. Now, the one major flaw with open gate is not being able to shoot 48 frames or 60 frames a second in these camera systems. Now, when I was shooting a ton on the GH6, something that I have been noticing on that is people have been claiming, including myself, that you can shoot open gate 60 frames a second in a four x three format, but you are actually not able to. There's no open gate or true open gate using the entire sensor to shoot in 48 or 60 frames a second. Basically what they're doing in the four x three formats on the GH6 is taking a normal 16 by nine, cropping in on the sides, and you're basically actually losing pixels and dead pixels of the camera so it doesn't really make sense to shoot in a 4x3 format for open gate 60 frames a second on the gh6 you might as well just shoot in 4k 60 frames a second instead because then you're getting more pixels if you're going to use it for vertical crop now this might just be a personal crutch for myself wanting to shoot a lot of my b-roll in slow motion but you still can slow down your 
footage in 30 frames second down to 80% if you're on a 24p timeline. The only downside is that social media prefers you to have a 30p timeline. If you're shooting th in 30 frames a second and editing in 30 frames a second, you can't slow down your footage. But if you are shooting 30 frames a second and editing in a 24p timeline, you can slow down that footage by 80%. Now, OpenGate is a great feature, but this is only one of many reasons why I recommend Lumix over Sony and Canon. If you wanna see all the other reasons, you can check out that video right here. And YouTube recommends you might like this video right here. Till next week, guys, peace.